I will update this investigation. But what I know right now, what I'm being told, uh, is that the officers responded uh, to a home uh, over here with uh, a three-year history of domestic violence, where the perpetrator or the uh, perpetrator had uh, made threats uh, against uh, a a female uh, partner at the home. Uh, the first encounter that he had with her was approximately 4:45. Uh, where he arrived at the house, shot up a vehicle that was at this house. He then leaves. He comes back at 822. He makes threats against her, uh, leaves again. Uh, the officers uh, are again respond to this location at 905. He comes back, commits a home invasion while he's kicking in the front door. The officers are in the area uh, based on the earlier runs. Uh, they, they see him. Uh, he sees them and he flees from the location. Uh, they engage him, uh, pursue him. Uh, he leaves at a very, very high rate of speed, uh, ultimately making it on, in this area on Warren where he strikes a cab uh, that is sadly occupied by uh, a, a, a female citizen. Uh, she's ejected and she dies on the scene. Uh, at some point, the officers and the suspect uh, engage uh, shots are fired by the officer, and he is fatally wounded on the scene. And that's what I have right now. This fluid will take just a few questions. Chief, I'm trying to understand. It doesn't seem like this pursuit lasted very long. Are we correct in that? I don't know. I, I'm looking at video. I'm pulling uh, video assets. I just don't know. There's a whole lot I don't know right now. So do, we, do we know if this suspect fired at your officer? I don't know. Not right now. So your officer fired at the suspect and he's... I dead. know that our officer fired at the suspect. I don't know if the officer returned fire. I don't, I don't know right now. Did they recover a weapon? Uh, I don't know yet. As of right now, no. So what happens now, Chief? Does MSP come out and investigate? Do you turn it over to an outside agency? Well, what do you we, do? we have our homicide task force, which consists of MSP, as we do with all of our investigation. There will be an independent look at this. But this scene is still active right now. I mean, the, the uh, perp uh, is on the scene right now, deceased. Uh, the scene is active. Uh, I mean, we're going to be here uh, most of the night piecing this together. You Problem said more? the other woman, the woman who was killed, was in a cab? She was. A like a taxi cab? That's what I'm being told right now. Again, this just happened. I'm just getting the information. Uh, but my understanding is a, a victim uh, was in a cab. Uh, the perpetrator's victim struck the cab as he was fleeing, uh, and, and she succumbed to her injuries. Wow. Was she alone in that cab? Uh, uh, the, uh, well, her and the driver of the cab, obviously. So the driver survived? He survived. Can you kind of give us a time frame too? Like, how far away is where the domestic happened to this location? We're piecing all that together. Um, not far, uh, but I, I just don't want to give you bad information. But again, I, I assure you there will be transparency throughout this investigation. There's just so much I don't know, and I don't want to go on record with saying something uh, without knowing the, the factual information. But I will update you and uh, provide as much information as I can as I get it. I would take one more. Any more? All right, thank you, Steve. All right, thank, thank you very you. much.